Hello friends, this video on coordinate geometry part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The topics to be covered in this chapter are introduction, Cartesian system, plotting a point in the plane if the coordinates are given and the summary. Very small chapter. The chapter is all about coordinate geometry. So what is coordinate geometry? So if you see this term geo, geo means earth. And metry means measure. That is geometry. That is measure earth. And coordinates means points. So if you see the history of, if you see the coordinate geometry, the geometry actually, the whole subject came because there was a need to measure the land. Okay. And we'll talk about the history later. But if you see a normal geometry, the difference in the coordinate geometry and geometry is the normal geometry helps you to describe the dimension of an object. For example, if you have a cuboid here, let's suppose. Is a cuboid. You can actually define the dimension of this object using geometry. Or if you have a triangle, you can define the dimension of this triangle if you have a land plot, you can define the dimension of this land plot using geometry. But it fails to explain the position of the object. So if you see here, for example, this red is my cuboid, red cuboid. With geometry, I can explain the dimension. I can say that this length of this, this is a cube actually, length of the cube is let's suppose 10 centimeter. But if you see, this Q may move. So with respect to some position in the room, so let's suppose with respect to this position, if there is observer here, so with respect to, to this observer, the cube is moving, right? So the position of the cube is moving with respect to one person. So the coordinate geometry is unable to explain the position of this cuboid with respect to some object or any, any person, sorry, the normal geometry fails to explain that. And thus comes the concept of coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry actually helps in explaining the position of object or any point. Okay, so I hope it is clear. A normal geometry helps to explain the dimension of object. For example, if you talk about square, cube, rectangle, it can explain the dimension, you can explain that the length of this uh, side is this, or if you see the Pythagoras theorem, which we have seen in uh, geometry, this right triangle, this is A and this is B, then this is root of A square plus B square. So all these comes as part of coordinate geometry, sorry, uh, normal geometry. So if this is equal little triangle, all the angles are equal. Then if this is X, all the sides will be X. It is all concepts of normal geometry but the only problem with normal geometry is this normal geometry fails to explain position of an object okay so position of an object is something which a normal geometry fails to explain and thus comes the concept of coordinate geometry if you see coordinate means point so it, it is nothing but add on on geometry to help you understand the position of an object. Okay. So let's talk about definition. So if you talk about definition, coordinate geometry is a system which uses one or more numbers called coordinates to determine the position of a point or other geometric elements. So let me write the definition for you. Coordinate geometry is a system which uses one or more numbers 
and these numbers are called coordinates and that's why it is called coordinate geometry we'll talk about that coordinates we have x coordinates y coordinate and these coordinates are used to determine position of a point or instead of point can be any any other geometric elements so typically we use this to determine the position of a point okay so for example if you see it is mostly used to determine the position of a point this is the main line okay As I told this cube, this uh, cube actually, and we'll use coordinate geometry to, to determine the position of this point. Let's understand coordinate geometry in simple words, if it is not clear. For example, I ask you to locate this house. So if you see, if you talk only about the house number, so there are three houses with the same number, number four, number four, number four. So to locate this house, actually you need two things. One thing is what? You need the street number. So you have to say that this is road two, house number four. So these two attributes, if you see road number and house number, right? Road number and house number will actually be helpful in determining this house. If you talk about any house, if you talk about this house, if you want to uh, specify this house, I have to specify road number three and house number two. So if I just specify road number three, let's go, there's so many houses in the road number three. Or if I just specify house number two, there are so many houses with house number two. Right? So in this kind of scenario also, you need, let's suppose two, uh, parameters right one is road number and one is house number so similarly in coordinate geometry also we'll see that we'll use some parameters normally x and y coordinates these are typically will be similar to coordinates in uh, coordinate geometry to determine a position to determine the position of a point or any geometric system let's take some more example so we have to locate the point on a paper okay so let's suppose I have located a point somewhere here and this is visual but if I want to write this down that see I have to locate this point here and now I want to I don't have an option to take the picture of this I have to write this in a statement how will I write what I can do is I can find the distance of this point from all the edges so I, I can just say that this is edge, uh, this is let's suppose, yeah. This is the uh, horizontal, this is vertical, right? So from horizontal, I'll say that this is some distance, and let's suppose this distance is 5 cm. And from this line, this is the distance, that is, let's suppose 6 cm. So I'll say that from these two lines, I'll give the name to this line, I'll give some names here. So I'll say that from point, from line AB, the distance is 6 cm. From line BC, the distance is 5 cm for this point. So with this information, anyone else can actually plot the same point again. Correct? So with this information that the distance from line AB is 6 cm and distance from line BC is 5 cm. Right? Distance from AB and distance from BC. I can actually plot these points. Okay, and that is coordinate geometry. So with this information, if anybody has a new piece of paper and with A, B and C marked here, he can actually uh, plot a point which is 6 cm from line B. All these points will be 6 cm from line B and then 5 cm from line BC. So from this, it will be this point. So it will meet here, that means this is the point. Okay, so it can be plotted. Right? So this, this point can actually be determined. We will see that. So if you have doubts, just hold on some time. But what I'm trying to say is with, with these two parameters, actually I can plot this point again. 
okay let's take another scenario to understand the coordinate geometry so for example uh your teacher is teaching you so you see is here teacher and here are the students so you want to locate a student so if you see if you want to locate a student he has to determine the row number this is row 1 this is row 2 and this is row 3 right similarly this is if i say column 1 this is column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 column 5 column 6 so if she want to pinpoint the student so she has to say that the student who is sitting at row number 2 and column number 3 correct right? row number 2 and column number you see row number 2 all the students are sitting column number 3 all the students are sitting the only common student Which is sitting both in row number two and column number three is this student. So you can easily print out, print, uh, pin bound this student. So if you see here also, we are using two coordinates. If you see row two and column three to point out this student. Similar concept will use in coordinate geometry. So we'll see that. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.